so in continuation to previous video so the, we have done the assign job roles to the user so which we can define it as in functional security okay now what we have we can define we are going to define data access security now data define data security so which means the data security so uh, for previous video i have given in the description below i uh, i given a playlist link as well you can go through the series uh, for finding all my videos okay so now we are uh, in the process of defining data security earlier we have assigned the job roles to the user so for that i just click on setup and maintenance and uh, go to financials you can see uh here is some security here we have data access uh, one second let me click on all you can find it here manage data access for users you can users so here uh, create new see here username is uh, tutorial let me select my username search for my username tutorial dot bt learn click on ok and job role is product manager role i'm selecting and the security context which means uh inventory manage I and mean inventory organization i'm going to select the context and the context value is pt let me search this Okay, I given information I have, so I'm selecting this. Click on OK. Yeah, see here uh, the data access create data access for users. So, for, so the meaning of this uh, data access for user is this user, which means tutorial.bt learn user, is under I mean having a product manager role. Uh, he can be able to create an items under inventory organization which is master organization which means that this one he can be able to create an items under this mark a master inventory organization only okay so save and close okay now click on done so here under the navigation now uh, you can see the product management where it is yes under the product management list this task list we can perform so here I'm going to click on product information management here under this product information management you can just click on this task here click on create item so we have created item classes under inventory organization we have defined the securities for both functional securities as well as data securities now we are going to create an item now i have been create i mean clicked on here let me select uh, my master organization see here you see my item class is this one 
you can select these templates i will select these templates later on uh, right now i'll explain these templates so that uh, we, you can understand clearly now just uh, you can click on ok now we have been creating item see here which item you are going to create now uh, let me create item uh, is like um, anything like fan let me create under electronics fan I just created BT lamp for my uh, demo purpose I created like this okay I'm just creating and okay, item status should be active right now and life cycle phase is active right now I'm creating and item template type package type this all we'll discuss later on now see here we have a uh, unit of measurements uh, there are a lot of things were right there so let me uh, uh, take one unit of measurement my fan i am going to take it with a volume like or else quantity i am going to take it right now okay you can take anything yeah, i'll discuss later about all this unit of measurements how we take it and also now we are going to click on specifications see here we have created this fan item but uh, this fan item can be accessible in all types of product families like a manufacturing inventory services sales and procurement uh, procurement uh, planning all is it possible by default no so here we have to define for each and every product family we have to define whether it is active or not and also what are all the attributes are there each and every you see here item organization if you click here manufacturing these all uh, attributes are related to manufacturing okay so here uh, let me click on inventory you see here inventory item it should be yes so then you can able to see this item in inventory management module and sales and order management if you see yes you have to click on yes and also there are a lot of attributes are there each and every attribute we can see uh, later on okay for procurement yes you can see yes is it purchasable or not uh, or else user applied uh, user approved supplier everything uh, there are a lot of attributes were there each and every module basis we have to select this one so this is how we create an item now click on save okay so now yes here we have created an item plan under i mean this fan we created under item class this one we did an item class okay so yeah click on save and close this is how we create an item now we have created an item uh, under uh, uh, master organization right so now we we have to we can see how to create an uh, i mean how to assign item to an member organization okay so that we are going to see now so click on here manage items uh, see here search for our item which we created here it is root item plus under root item plus now we were so this is our number this one we are going to search or else yes just search item starts with what vt learn underscore fan right which we have created yes see this is what we created now yeah this is item see here under 
space we have associations click on associations here see under master organization we already assigned when we created default so now we are going to click on select and add so here we have to select a member organization so vt learn let me search my organization here member chicago organization okay just select this you do not uh, have permissions to assign the item to this organization see now what we have to do we have to assign but you have to go to that particular user i mean for a member user you have to go let me go to now just close this close this go to click on manage and set up and maintenance we are providing access now item plus access so you have to go to product management let me go to product management here item classes click on item classes uh, here what we have to do this item class click on this item class now uh, here uh, we have this this and go to security here we have to define it what our user click on in person and then member organization sorry member user is bt learn organization is member so take this member okay so now you have to provide actions select and add i am providing all the access apply and click on ok ok now save and close now i have given access to this particular uh, member organization as well uh, now click on done go to uh, navigation here product information management and then here go to item manage items which we already created so here we should have item class uh, item is bt learn underscore and just click on search just click on this and you have to go to click on associations here try to click on select and add here organization you click on pt and search let me search on this yes member click on apply and then okay now see we have been uh, assigned uh, this item to a member organization as well so now we this uh, item can be accessed by member or master organization okay so 
yeah i hope you understood right all these points like uh, how to uh, define a security like person group wise and assign the job roles to the user so define data security and assign item to a member how to create an item okay this one also we have seen right define item and how to assign the securities so everything we have seen about the item so in detail in advanced parameters and attributes we will see in the future videos so i hope you understood well about this concept if you like this video please do like and subscribe to my channel to get more updates thank you